Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here with Probably Got This, and today we have another event video, and this one looks to be very exciting. This is the year one celebration event in the Elder Scrolls Online. This event will be celebrating the first year of content that came to ESO, and I will be going through with you the details of the event, the rewards you can earn, how to start the event, and how to start earning a free mount. Real quick, I wanna give a shout out to all the patrons. Thank you so much for the support. If you'd like to become a patron, you can get your name up here on the screen. You can also get early access to videos and much more. Check out the link below in the description. And we have multiple resources on our website, probablygotthis.com. And you can check out me on uh, live at twitch.tv slash probablygotthis, and you can join our very helpful Discord. All the links below are in the description. So the year one event will be starting on Thursday, August 26th at 10 a.m. EDT and will last until Tuesday, September 7th at 10 a.m. EDT. This event will take place in Rothgar, Craglorn, and the Imperial City Zones. Okay, Craglorn and Imperial City Zones are actually free and part of the base game. So if you're trying the free trial out right now, VSO, this is a great opportunity to explore these zones with a ton of players. This event is available for all platforms and all servers. And again, it is free to play as long as you have access to those zones, which you should have access to two to three of the zones if you have the game. Craglorn is right here. Uh, Rothgar is, uh, where is it at? Right here. Um, and then Imperial City is in PVP, but it's a PVE uh, VP zones. This is the Imperial City. This is actually free in the Crown Store. So in order to start the quest, you need to get the Sand, Snow, and Blood quest from the Crown Store. Normally, it will be either in um, the uh, quest starters here, or it'll be in the events tab that will spawn up here during this event. Um, you can also just go to the Impresario tent and then go uh, to the other, th uh, either of the three zones and start doing these um, tasks that you have, or you can start earning rewards from this event. Now the Impress Aria is, is located again in multiple locations. Uh, it's in a lot of major expansion zones. So you'll find her in Somerset, you'll find her in Western Skyrim, you'll find her in Vardenfell. Um, but in the base game zones, uh, each alliance has a tent. And so in Ardon for the Automated Dominion, you'll see her in Vocal Guard, she's right around here. In Daggerfall Covenant, it will be in Glenumbra zone and it'll be in the town of Daggerfall, it'll be around here. And then for Ebonart Pact, it will be in Stone Falls, and it will be in Davin's Watch, somewhere around in this area. You'll see a little icon. So during this event, you can actually get the Orsinium DLC in the Crown Store, which is Craglorn. So if you do not have Craglorn, it is only 1,500 crowns, which is 50% off, or if you have ESO Plus, it is free for you. But if I were you, they actually have a four DLC Mega Pack available, uh, which is 2,000 crowns. For, so for 500 crowns more, you get Orsinium, you get the Imperial City, which again is free, Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood uh, DLCs all outright owned for 2,000 crowns, which is actually an amazing deal. So I would actually recommend you doing that instead of the 1,500. But let's talk how to get the rewards and what rewards you can earn. So when you complete various tasks in any of the zones, you will receive a chance to receive year one coffers. Here are the activities that you can do to have that chance per the website article. These things will uh, give you a chance to get your own coffers. So this is uh, completing the year one celebration intro quest. So pretty easy. Completing daily quests, defeating delve and world bosses, opening treasure chests, safe boxes or thieves troves, claiming a Cedric portal, harvesting a harvest node, defeating a boss in Craglorn trial, defeating a boss in Dragon Star Arena, defeating a boss in Maelstrom Arena, defeating a boss in either White Gold Tower or Imperial City Prison, and looting monsters or objects such as barrels, crates, etc. So I will get into daily quests here in a little bit. But world bosses look like this with the skull. Delves look like this. It doesn't have to have the plus icon, but it's this torch. Um, and then Dragon Star Arena is up here. Maelstrom Arena is in uh, Rothgar, which is right here. Um, and then Trials would be like Sanctum of Fidia, Elros Citadel, and uh, Aetherian Archive. Year One Coffers have a chance as well of gaining the following items uh, per the website article. So again, when you get a year one coffer, you can get these following items. You can get crafting materials, Imperial City fragment keys, style items for the styles found within Rothgar, Imperial, Imperial City, and Craglorn, zone gear set items, transmutation crystals, valuables that you can sell to vendors for gold, motif chapter style pages from Rothgar, Imperial City, and Craglorn zones, including Yokinen, Celestial, Ragata, Trinimac, Ancient Orc, Malakath, and Zivkin, pages for the new old Orsinium weapon styles, pages for Maelstrom Arena weapon styles, and pages for Legion Zero Vigil's armor styles. And something to know is that each day that you uh, complete a daily quest in Rothgar, Craglorn, and Imperial City for the first time, you will receive a glorious year one coffer, which is a big coffer. This happens in every single event. That coffer is guaranteed to contain a motif chapter style page or the new old Orsinium weapon style. So there is always 
going to be a big coffer like that. And those will give you a guaranteed motif each day. Again, that is per account. You cannot do that on each character. So also there's going to be more and there always is more rewards and always more to these events. So in addition to earning the year one coffers, the following activities have bonus rewards during the event. Okay, so the bonus rewards according to the website article is double reward boxes for daily quests in Rothgar, Imperial City and Craglorn. So um, Craglorn's daily quests are throughout. You'll see the blue icon above someone's head that notes a daily quest. Um, in Rothgar, your daily quests are going to be over here. So you're going to have one that is around this town right here. And then the other one is uh, somewhere around here. Uh, I think it's like this house right here. I've had a daily before. There's only uh, two dailies, I believe, in Rothgar, but they're usually pretty simple. Um, and so those are how you do the dailies there. And then Imperial City, the dailies are going to be actually in the districts. So you'll you'll have a daily kind of like around these little house areas. Um, you'll see a blue icon, like I said. In my opinion, the easiest place to do your dailies is Rothgar. Um, a lot of times the daily up here is one of the simplest dailies to do. It's Again, it's either like a world boss or a delve um, uh, in one of the two dailies. So that's what I would recommend if you're looking for the easiest dailies to do and to get double reward boxes. Some other bonus rewards you can get is increased resource node rewards, not including from fishing holes or crafting materials ob obtained from creatures. So if that just, if you loot a uh, crafting node, you'll get uh, increased re resource node rewards. You'll get bonus loot from world bosses, dungeon bosses, bosses, and delve bosses. So if you want to farm, um, you know, Briar Heart uh, or anything in Rothgar, it's a great time to do that. Bonus loot from chests in the Maelstrom and Dragon's Arenas. So again, a great time to farm Maelstrom Arena. Uh, bonus loot from the bosses in Craglorn Trials, in addition to earning two coffers for that Trials Weekly Quest. So if you complete the Trials in Craglorn, the three Trials, which are base game, uh, you will get a bonus uh, reward box uh, from that Trial do it for doing the once a week weekly quest. You also get bonus Telvar Stones earned in the Imperial City. So if you're a PvP player or a PvE player, you can participate in this event. Um, it basically serves everyone's uh, needs, and that's something that's really cool about this uh, year one event. Now, everyone's favorite Impresario is always here with event tickets, so you can earn two event tickets per day per account with this event. You can earn these by doing one daily quest in Rothgar or Craglorn and one ticket for doing the daily district quest in Imperial City. So that means you cannot do two daily quests in Rothgar and get two tickets. You can only get one ticket from doing either a daily quest in Rothgar or Craglorn. And then to get your other ticket, you have to do a daily in the Imperial City district daily quests. As always, remember that the event ticket timer resets at 2 a.m. EDT, so that's when the next day starts. So if you don't do it before then, you're gonna lose that day's event ticket opportunity. And also make sure that when you do these quests, you do not have full event tickets. If you have 12 event tickets, so if you look in your inventory, you can go to currency event tickets. I have six out of 12. If you're full here and you do a daily, you turn it in, you will not get the event ticket and that will be gone forever. So do not do that. It's a mistake a lot of people make. I've done it before. So make sure that you have empty event tickets um, or at least one slot available when you turn in a quest. So now to go into the Impress Ario, again, she is located in multiple areas and I just showed you all those areas. But right now, she is stocking the base pet fragments for the Unstable Morpholith pet. These are five event tickets each, and I have an Unstable Morpholith pet guide in the description and on the website for further explanation of this. She also has two fragments of the upgrade to the Unstable Morpholith pet, and these are the Dagonic Quasi-Griff mount fragments. These are 10 event tickets each. Please note, you cannot complete the mount in this event. There is still one more fragment to be gained in a future event. But a brief rundown of how this works is you will need to get the Unstable Morpholith pet. So that is a total of 15 event tickets since each fragment is five tickets each. You then need to combine your uh, fragments for the pet once you have the fragments. And you can usually do that um, over here in the uh, fragment section. You can go to the Unstable Morpholith. You need to get three fragments and then you'll just combine them. But once you do that, you will need to get three upgrade fragments for the Quasi-Griff mount and transform your pet into the mount. When you do this, your pet will be gone. So for the next variant in quarter four, you can actually earn a free house 
you're going to need the pet again. So you have to complete the three pet fragments again. So, so just keep that in mind, okay? So if you use your pet to get the mount, you have to get the pet again to get the next reward. It's just how it works. But if you play the event, you should be able to get these. And as always, you can always earn events. You can always get event tickets in the crown store for 250 crowns each. Now, other rewards the Impress Ario has is a smoke wreathed griffin feather in black iron bit and brittle. She also has the old Orsinium weapon style pages and group repair kits. Now, if you get the old Orsinium weapon style pages from her, you cannot trade them. But if you get them from... Uh, oh look, a thief's trove. Awesome. Uh, and if you get the, um, but if you get them from the actual event, you can put those on guild traders. But that's going to wrap up the guide, y'all. I do really hope that this uh, helps you all out. Again, if you have any questions, leave a uh, comment below in the uh, in the comment section, and make sure to like, subscribe, heavy attack that bell icon to increase your DPS and to stay up to date on all the content on the channel. And you can always ask me questions at twitchtv got this as well when I stream. We have a lot of resources available in the description, probablygotthis.com and our Discord. But I'm really excited for this event. I'm excited to get back into some of these zones. Uh, this is a great time to farm Maelstrom Arena as well. So I hope to see you all there. But until next time, y'all, just remember to have faith, be great. I'll see you on ESO.